Terry Harper here at Spa Medical in downtown Macon, Georgia. You may hear the sounds of the city in the background, and we're okay with that. We have some tips today for you guys who are planning a wedding or a big event, and I have some information for you. Did you know that the most popular season for weddings is actually the fall, not the summer, in middle Georgia? You can imagine why, maybe the heat. But today it's my medical. I'm going to share with you some tips. Carrie Oliver's going to share some tips about skin care, and we're going to help make your, your day even better for you. So join us at Spa Medical for some tips. So one of the biggest components about planning your big day is selecting a photographer that you feel like can best capture your wedding or your big event. So with that, we're going to give you a couple of tips to be camera ready or no filter ready, if you will. You know, some of the best pictures that you'll love when you get your pictures back are those that are impromptu. You know, you don't really have time to get ready for the picture, like chin out, tummy in, turn, your, turn to your best side. It's just those pictures that you find yourself in conversation or either just in awe of what's going on that day. And those are the pictures that you still want to look your very best in. So, some of the tricks that we have for you and tips are going to be strategically placed Botox and filler. For the mothers of the bride and groom and for the bride, one of the things I love to do is treat the smile lines right here as you're smiling for pictures. You want to treat those so that it doesn't ruin your picture. Because trust me, what you'll do when you get your pictures back is you'll see those lines out here, commonly called crow's feet, more than anything else. And some people, you remember, when you smile, their eyes squint so much that they almost look closed. So Botox can actually help with both of those things. Now our timeline for Botox is going to be, I'd love for you to get it about a month out at least. That way we have time to tweak it and get it just perfect in preparation for your day and for your pictures that are gonna be taken. And the filler, I love filler as well for both brides and moms. Think about those times that those, those of you who have this problem will identify. When you smile, your upper lip is completely gone. And so I love to put just the tiniest little bit of augment, especially in the upper lip, for when that smile, you still have beautiful lips that show, you know, after all, how long did it take for you to pick out the perfect lipstick? So we want that to show still as you're, um, as you're smiling for all your pictures. Now, the timeline for filler, again, I wanna do it at least about a month out prior to your procedure, uh, to, your, to your event. So some people, if they have, if, they're, if you're really organized and you plan your wedding a year in advance, they wanna go ahead and do a trial run of your Botox and your filler and then have time to actually touch it up again three or four months later, maybe even five months prior to the event. So we can do it either way to make sure it's perfect for you. At the end of the day, all you have left are the pictures to look at because you'll forget all of the things that went on that day and how everybody looked and who all attended and that type of thing. So we want to get you at Spa Medical picture perfect ready for your big day. So, you know, in my opinion, even though my expertise is in injectables, in my opinion, the skin has to look perfect. So we want to help you at Spa Medical get your skin even tone, even texture, and just looking its best for your pictures and for your big day. So Carrie's gonna tell you a few tips of how to do that and have your skin looking great. Congratulations on your recent engagement. As you begin to plan and imagine your big day, bride beautiful skin is always in style. At Spa Medical, we have comprehensive solutions to all of your aesthetic concerns. We recommend you schedule your first skin consultation and treatment at least six months prior to the big day. On the day of your consultation, we will discuss your concerns as well as your goals for your skin. We will start and complete your series of treatments with a hydrofacial. With this treatment, we are going to polish, exfoliate, deep cleanse, and nourish your skin. You will leave with a beautiful glow to your skin. It also allows us to get to know your skin so we can best prescribe a medical grade skincare line to enhance the benefits of your treatment and have ongoing benefits. So as we're, we're talking about your skin and your goals, 
Um, if there are deeper concerns like discoloration, acne and or acne scarring, we can set you up for the most appropriate series of treatments which may be a combination of chemical peels, microneedling and or laser treatments. So your aesthetic provider here is here to guide you and take the guesswork out of this process and um, so you will just have bright beautiful skin on the big day and we want you to just begin this new chapter and to feel confident with your skin we look forward to seeing you okay so i hope these uh ideas that we've had for you are helpful in your preparation i know you have a million things you're trying to prepare for but don't forget to add this to your list and let spa medical help you with that uh, it's never too early to start and really it's never too late. We can do something. So pick up your phone today and call us at 478-743-2299 and we can help you with your non-surgical preparation for your wedding day or for the moms of the bride and grooms. Now also, if you're interested at all in anything beyond non-surgical, don't forget we also have Middle Georgia's only female plastic surgeon. And if you have enough time before your day or your big event, then Dr. Lugo at the Aesthetic Center for Plastic Surgery at Spa Medical may be able to help you with a few things that non-surgical just won't get for you. So don't forget those tips. And by the way, have a fabulous day.